What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Skookum Living. Today we got a fun project here in the shop. We're gonna be making some bent canoe paddles out of wood. Uh, over the past couple of years I've been collecting uh, different slab woods that I've been making with my chainsaw mill. So I got some Douglas fir and some western red cedar and so we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a laminated bent canoe paddle. So to do that we're gonna first make a bunch of strips so we can make the bent shaft of it. So I made this jig. And the way I did it, I just took a two by six. <coughs> I cut a two inch strip down most of it and I want my blade to be 14 inches long. I don't know why 14 inches is what I wanted. So that's what I made. And then I put mine to have a 10 degree angle on it. You can do whatever angle you want. Um, I've seen anywhere from five up until 15, but I think 10's right in the middle. So that's a good angle for me. Um, I'm not a professional canoe paddle maker by any means. Okay, so we're gonna line up this side at the end because this is the important side. Uh, make sure it's all nice and flush and flat. Then I'm going to start at this. I'm going to start at this end because I don't want the mold to slide at all. Go until it squeezes out. We got the uh, shaft drying in clamps right now. So we'll give that one a couple hours. So let's go ahead and start making the blade. All right, it's out of the mold. It's got a nice, perfect 10 degree bend to it, as you can see there. Uh, looks like the glue have held quite nicely. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this other side and make it a nice square paddle uh, to uh, allow the blade to get glued to it. That's looking beautiful. So it's getting ready for us to glue the blade on there. Uh, we do want to make those nice and square so we'll cut those now too. Alright, you can see that 10 degree bend in it now. It's looking great, nice and clean. So now we just gotta wait for the blade to be dry. This is going to be lovely. I'm gonna glue this up and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Get the blade all glued up onto the shaft. I got this little uh, bottom piece on here just to give it a little more rigidity at the bottom. I put these uh, laminate flooring spacers underneath the blade to give it a, a spacer up on the shaft just to kind of put it a little more in the middle. And then so we'll just let that uh, dry up for a couple hours. Now that it's out of the clamps, it's time to start shaping it. I use the angle grinder with a flap disc on here because I find it takes the, the most amount of material off in the beginning and then I moved into using a palm sander a little later on. All right, now to make the design of the paddle, I uh, took a piece of paper and folded it in half and made one profile of it. And then when you cut it, just like making those snowflakes as a kid, it pops out and it's exactly the same. Um, now I can line this up down here at the bottom.
All right, so we got it all sanded to uh, my liking. And now for the most exciting, or at least most satisfying part. Putting the clear coat on to see the full grain. Mm. Oh, so pretty. Testing day! So we got our paddle ready for testing. We're out here at Twin Buttes Lake outside of Laramie. And we're gonna see if these things can move our boat. Good girl. <laughs> well guys, I'm super excited with how these turned out. Uh, they pushed us right across the lake with no problem. Um, I put about four coats of poly on them. I made sure I got them in every little uh, nook and cranny because I wanted to make sure that they lasted for a long period of time. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, maybe consider subscribing so you can see future builds and adventures. Uh, remember guys, woodworking like canoeing is supposed to be fun, so uh, you know, have some fun with it, make a fun design, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks so much. Bye.